Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to design using a template in Illustrator. I'm going to work on the car mat today. If I go down to product info, I can see the specifications of the product, the size, the printing method, all that type of stuff. But the thing that I'm worried about today is design file info. This is going to be a lifesaver in exporting your designs exactly how it calls for. So when we get to that point, we're going to export it as a JPEG or PNG at 75% quality. And the dimensions will be these at 150 pixels per inch. So the first thing I'm going to do is click template and that will automatically download my template. Okay. I see it down here. If I click here, I can click show in finder and then right click open with Adobe Illustrator 2022. Now I really like Adobe Illustrator for designing. It has a lot more capabilities than some of the other softwares available. With Illustrator, I have so much control over how my design gets exported. Plus there are more ways to design from scratch in this program. Now I'm not going to give you a full Illustrator tutorial right now, but I will show you what you need to know for exporting your compatible designs. Okay, so as you can see, my templates have been imported into the software. There are two templates, and that's because this product comes with two car mats, one for the driver's side, one for the passenger side. Today, I'm going to only make one design because I want the driver and the passenger to have the same design of car mat underneath their feet. If you look over here at the layers tab, it'll probably come up like this. But if you click on the layers tab, you can see that side one, side two, and an artwork layer have been automatically uploaded. Side one and side two have been imported as guides. So that means when you upload your artwork, you can see the guide through the artwork. Okay, so always make sure you're putting your artwork in on the artwork layer. That's going to be really important. You don't want to mess with those guides right now. So I've already designed my artwork in a different app, but I'm just going to upload it to Illustrator just to make sure all of my specifications come out exactly how Printed Mint will read it best. So I'll go File, Place, and then I'll pick my Carmat design, my Leo Carmat design. Click Place, and then as you see, it comes up as a little tiny thumbnail next to my mouse. I want to place this at the corner of the car mat. So I wait till I can see it says anchor in purple writing, click, and then yours might do this too, where it comes out like way too large, even if you did export it as the correct size. So what you're going to do is make sure you have this black cursor selected, the selection tool, or you can hit V, and then you hold down shift to make sure the proportions stay exactly how you want them, and then just go ahead and drag it until it snaps to the corner. I didn't go all the way, so hold down shift and then drag it. There we go. So now it's the correct size. For this one, like I said, I'm only going to do the left mat, so that's good. And I obviously do not want to export it with these guidelines. These guidelines are just to help me see, okay, is it in the safe area? Is every important element going to be printed on the product? Did I make it full bleed? And it looks like my design does check all of those boxes. And just to review, that orange line is the safe area line. So any text or elements that you definitely need to appear should be located within the safe area. The gray line is the product line. So that's the outline of the product. And then that blue line is the full bleed line. So any background colors or anything need to extend all the way to that full bleed line. So now I can go ahead and just toggle this off by clicking the eye. Look, there's my design. I can turn it on, turn it off. But when I export, like I said, make sure it's off. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and click my artboard selection tool. You can also use the hotkey shift plus O to move to that tool. I'm going to select it. And then now it's time to export. I only want this artboard. That's going to be important to keep in mind. And also check out this. It says that you need to upload it as a CMYK JPEG. So I'll do File, Export, Export As. And then I want to make it a JPEG, right? So scroll down to here. And then I do want to use artboards because like I said, I don't want that artboard on the right. So if I look here, it says artboard one. So my range will just be one. I can change the name and click export. Okay. So here's where you're going to really adjust these JPEG options. So the color mode, as it says right here, needs to be CMYK. That's just a little bit of a different color profile than RGB. And we do want to change it. So click the drop down, click CMYK. 
Um, the quality on the website with the product specifications, it says it needs to be at 75% quality. So I can go back to Adobe Illustrator and change this to 7.5 because this quality scale is on a scale from 1 to 10. So 75% quality will be 7.5 and I can just go ahead and type that in. Okay, this stuff, don't really pay attention to this but the resolution does need to be at 150. That was also on that product specification page. So medium 150, don't worry about this, and then just go ahead and click OK. So now it should have downloaded to the correct place that you just selected. I'm gonna go back to Google Chrome and I'm gonna click design product. Here's my car mat. I'm gonna go to my files, upload, and then it's uploaded right here. So I'll click choose. And sure enough, it is exactly the right size because we used Illustrator and we did follow those product specifications. Um, I can mess with it a little bit here. This is something important to pay attention to for this product, side one and side two. I just want this, pro this design on both sides. So apply to both sides. There it is. Click next and everything looks good. I'm just going to go ahead and click save. All right, so here is my car mat. So that is how you use Adobe Illustrator with templates from Printed Mint to create a really amazing design. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe and tune in next time for more Printed Mint content.